Emmert International proudly presents the 2008 Trucking Job of the Year entry for the Specialized Carriers and Rigging Association. Emmert International was contacted by an engineering and construction company to move three pieces of silicone processing equipment known as the TCS and DCS columns and the hydrogenator. The TCS and DCS columns were similar in nature and fabricated in Vancouver, Washington. The hydrogenator was manufactured overseas and would arrive on a heavy lift ship at the port of Longview, Washington. Because of schedule constraints, the three pieces would need to be delivered to the project site near Moses Lake, Washington, in three individual transports, all under the same contract. At the request of the customer, Emmert International began working a feasibility study to determine a method and route that would safely deliver all three pieces to the project site. Through weeks of exhaustive investigation work with the state's Department of Transportation and local municipalities of Oregon and Washington, Emmert International developed a transportation plan using a combination of barge transport combined with Emmert's Dolly Bean transporter system. Additionally, it was determined that it was not possible to transport the TCS column and the hydrogenator entirely overland due to height and impassable obstructions along the route, such as tunnels and overhead bridges. The first column to complete fabrication and be ready for shipment was the DCS, the smallest of the three vessels. At the fabrication site in Vancouver, Washington, Emmert International's crews began installing jacking equipment underneath the DCS column and elevating it to the proper height to accommodate the assembly of the eight dolly transportation system around the column. Once the dolly beam system was assembled around it, the DCS column was pulled out of the fabricator's shop and transported through the industrial site to a nearby staging area to wait for travel to begin. Due to heavy traffic volume in the metro area, the move had to be made at night. Emmert crews installed safety lighting and portable generators so the load could be illuminated and visible at night. The now 201 foot long, 16 foot 8 inch high and 20 foot wide, 404,000 pound gross load had to travel over the heavily used Glen Jackson Bridge over the Columbia River from Washington into Oregon as it was not possible for a load of this size to go directly through Washington. The transporter required two lanes of traffic on its journey as the DCS column traveled east on Interstate 84 paralleling the Columbia River to Umatilla while facing grades up to 6%. After about 275 miles in Oregon, the crews had to maneuver onto the McNary Highway to cross back into Washington and continued on to the project site near Moses Lake, an additional 200 miles utilizing state and county roads. Due to a low bridge, the transport had to detour off the main highway onto a series of county roads. On the county roads, Emmert International employed the use of their 55-foot barge ramps to jump two county bridges that could not take the loads. To not interfere with farm traffic on these roads, a condition of our permit was that the two bridges had to be jumped at night. Timing was critical because the barge ramps would need to be set after sundown and the transporter had to make its final destination before school curfews the following day. The barge ramps were laid and the bridges fully illuminated to ensure a safe crossing. After the safe crossing of the bridges, Emmert International executed a 9% grade and an immediate left to right 90 degree turn on its way to the final destination. Once safely at the project site, the column was removed and equipment loaded out on standard flatbed trailers and returned to home port. The TCS column was fabricated at the same facility in Vancouver, Washington. Once fabrication was complete, Emmert installed jacking equipment underneath the TCS column to elevate it to the proper height to accommodate the assembly of the 8 dolly and walking beam transport system around the column. With the use of four underslung walking beams in conjunction with eight Emmert Transport Highway dollies equipped with hydraulic jacks designed inside the framework, the TCS column could be raised and lowered when needed with extra lifting capabilities. With the TCS column loaded and secured, the now 197-foot, 2-inch long, 18-foot high by 18-foot wide, 383,000-pound gross weight transporter was pulled out of the fabrication shop and transported to a nearby barge slip. Emmert crews installed barge ramps to span the distance from land to the barge. 
the barge ramps were well secured and attached to prevent any shifting during the offloading. Emmert monitored the ballasting to ensure the proper weight distribution was maintained as we rolled the TCS column onto the barge. Upon final placement, the transportation system was blocked out, lashed, secured, and inspected for its voyage up the Columbia River to Pasco, Washington. As the barge sailed to Pasco, site improvements were performed to accommodate the barge offloading. With the barge in place and properly secured for offloading, crews began removing the lashings and the cribbing as the barge ramps were then put into place to span the distance between the barge and the riverbank. As the push and pull trucks remained with the transporter throughout the voyage, Emmert International rolled the TCS column off the barge while carefully monitoring and adjusting the ballast. Because Emmert International loaded the TCS column on the approved highway transporter, the TCS column was ready for transport that day. Following local ordinances, the TCS column was maneuvered to an on-site staging area to wait until the following day to start the transport. With the necessary pilot cars and permits in place, the TCS column commenced travel down the county roadway to the state highway with a push and pull truck moving in unison. The configuration of the eight dolly and walking beam system took up two traffic lanes of travel. Pilot cars were used in the front and rear to keep motorists a safe distance from the load and to minimize traffic disruptions, allowing motorists to pass safely when possible. The last leg of the move required Emmert International to wait until night to move the load in order to take the same detour off the main highway onto a county road as the DCS column did. Lighting illuminated the TCS column to make it easier to maneuver traffic around the load. As with the DCS column, the big challenge was safely negotiating the two bridges on this small diversion road that had a weight limit of 40 tons, well below the gross weight of the load. Emmert International employed the use of our 55-foot barge ramps, normally used to span the space between a barge deck and the shore, to create a suitably strong bridge over the existing bridges. Using this method ensured the existing bridges were not subjected to the weight of the load. Again, timing was critical because the barge ramps would need to be set after sundown and the transporter had to make its final destination before school curfews the following day. As Emmert International moved closer to the project site, they encountered as much as 9% grades and left to right 90 degree turns. After overcoming these challenges, the TCS column reached its final destination. The load was blocked out, our equipment was removed from the TCS column and loaded out on standard flatbed trailers and returned to home port. The hydrogenator arrived at the port of Longview, Washington just as winter began to set in. Because of its size, there was no feasible highway route that could be taken from any northwest port that heavy lift ships can service. The hydrogenator would have to be shipped via barge, a portion of the trip similar to the methods employed to safely transport the TCS column. The barge was prepared and waiting for the ship's arrival with an eight-dolly beam transport trailer completely assembled and lashed to the barge. The ship's crew utilized both cranes in unison to lift the hydrogenator from the hull of the ship and lower it on to the awaiting eight-dolly beam transport trailer on the barge, and the final lashings were then carried out. The barge was then inspected and approved for the journey up the Columbia River to the same offload site as the TCS column. As the hydrogenator sailed to the Pasco site, improvements were performed to accommodate the barge offloading. With the barge safely in place and properly secured for offloading, crews began removing the lashings and the cribbing as the barge ramps were then put into place to span the distance between the barge and the riverbank. Emmert attached a prime mover to the eight dolly transport trailer and gradually maneuvered the 207 foot, 10 inch long, 19 foot, one inch high, 20 foot, 10 inch wide, 500,904 pound gross weight transport system off the barge while adjusting the ballast to compensate for the change in weight and delivering it to the staging area. Once again, with pilot vehicles and permits in place, Emmert International began the highway transport of the third installment of the project. Encountering weather conditions too dangerous to safely transport the hydrogenator, it was moved off the roadway to a safe location and secured until weather conditions improved, permitting the load to resume safe travel. Several days later, conditions improved as the snow and ice that covered the highways melted. Emmert International resumed transport of the hydrogenator. 
On the same approved route as the TCS and DCS columns, the hydrogenator faced the same challenges and safety concerns negotiating the two bridges on the small diversion road that had a weight limit of 40 tons. Again, Emert International employed the use of our 55-foot barge ramps to build a temporary bridge over the existing bridges. Again, timing was critical because the barge ramps would need to be set after sundown and the transporter had to make its final destination before school curfews the following day. As Emert International moved closer to the project site, they encountered as much as 9% grades and left to right 90 degree turns. After overcoming these challenges, the hydrogenator reached its final destination. The load was blocked out, our equipment was removed from the hydrogenator, loaded out on standard flatbed trailers, and returned to home port. With all the loads safely delivered to the project site, the customer was extremely pleased and congratulated Emmert on making a complex and challenging job appear easy. Overall dimensions, length, 197 feet 2 inches to 207 feet 10 inches width 18 feet to 20 feet 10 inches height 16 feet 8 inches to 19 feet 1 inch total gross weight 1,287,904 pounds planning for the job 12-month planning and permitting process 780 hours of engineering, 1,750 hours of planning and coordination. Permits, approvals from the state's Department of Transportation in Washington and Oregon, city and county municipalities. Physical elements encountered, night moves, snow and ice, different sizes of the pieces and complexity, ballasting to ensure the proper weight distribution, crossing of two bridges on the county road that needed to be spanned, as much as 9% grades, left to right 90 degree turns, bypassing obstructed roadways, fluctuating water levels, width, height, and weight restrictions, required two lanes of travel, safety considerations, safe operations during weather conditions of snow and icy roads, protective safety gear worn at all times, keeping other motorists a safe distance from the load, maintaining ballast counterweight at all times, pilot cars, radio communications, bridge capacities, nighttime conditions, fully illuminated loads, fluctuating water levels, additional safety lashings at sensitive areas, Emmert safety policies in effect at all times, execution, 720 man hours on the job, ingenuity and innovations, specially designed saddles to support the loads, modifications to existing equipment, innovative design and manufactured underslung gullwing hydraulic walking beams, a route plan that would bypass impassable sections of road, customized engineered hangers to lower overall height, two different modes of transportation, in-house fleet of designed, engineered, and manufactured Emmert hydraulic transport dollies, added beams and four helper dollies to distribute weight over bridge crossings, loss prevention, no accidents, no injuries, no incidents, no property damage, no loss of time, no structural damage, no cargo damage, no equipment damage. Schedule, on schedule and within budget, Contract, lump sum, firm fixed price. All equipment was licensed and titled for highway use. All operations were safely performed under the care, custody, and control of Emmert International.